Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel Imrama Tarot. My name is Dipali. I'm a tarot card reader. I'm also a Reiki healer, a crystal healer and a manifestation coach. Let's start with your reading guys. So this is for the next 10 days starting from 26th of April to 5th of May. Also it's a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what does not. Let's start. death um aquarius uh, okay so before you start panicking let me tell you death does not signify actual death no uh, death means um, a very sudden change is going to come in your life okay like a sudden change sudden transformation which will force you to step out of your comfort zone it will um so this death could be related to um it could be related to your healing journey or it could also be related to um, some kind of change let's say um, maybe a relocation which would um, which would um, change things for you drastically like a new location new people um, exploring new city new food it might make you anxious in the beginning because you are not used to changes and changes always make people uncomfortable but that is how the universe makes us step out of your, our comfort zone to not resist to change that is what is going to happen let's see what this change or this death card is about ace of cups a new beginning a new beginning a new um, maybe a, a new love that is coming towards you or maybe a new job that is coming towards you uh, because um, something something uh, fresh you are going to start something from scratch okay you are starting a fresh something um, this could be also also I'm, I'm getting something death so death and ace of cups so maybe if this is a new person coming in your life then this could be um, a water sign uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio I'm not sure just keep on observing if there is someone um, important in your life like a water sign um, yes this could also be a love connection entering your life or about to enter your life um, also, if some of you are planning uh, for um, for a baby to get pregnant to conceive, then it's the right time. And if you're not planning, then please uh, use the necessary precautions. <coughs> the Empress. This new beginning is going to um, going to be. So so amazing because it is bringing all sorts of success and victory and an abundance and so many positivity you are going to be so creative maybe universe will force you to um, you have been thinking for a really long time to start a business okay let's assume and you have not been able to do that because you are so <clears throat> so in your comfort zone you do not want to take any risk you are just avoiding each and everything you are sulking but you're not doing anything about it so maybe this is how universe just pushes you okay universe will throw you into that thing that after that you will have to do it but once you take that first step you will get so successful you will get so much of abundance just take that first step Aquarius I have been saying this in your previous readings as well please please take that first step or else universe will, will make you do that easy way or the hard way your choice king of pentacles you are going to have it all Aquarius just do this one thing 
take the first baby step towards your future just take this one step and universe will take care of the rest king of pentacles you are going to get um uh, security you are going to get uh, you know power control everything is going to enter in your life maybe in the form of job opportunity or in the form of another person here king of pentacles this could be um i i'm, I'm getting water signs um, also pisces cancer scorpio also i'm getting pentacles so um earth sign here taurus virgo capricorn but uh, please take as it resonates and um yeah because see the empress is also an earth sign so maybe water sign or an earth sign let's not be fixated here but um you you will be having love in your life you would be having abundance in your life new opportunities in your life money in your life there is pentacles you would be having control power security stability everything i, I don't know why uh, you are not taking that risk what is stopping you seven of cups you are living in your fantasy world aquarius step out of it it's high time now it's really high time now um please take as it resonates it's it's a general reading so um I, i'm not sure uh, how many of you are resonating with this reading but um a lot of you guys are living in a fantasy world in a world full of illusions where you have each and everything in life it's a good thing uh you are sort of manifesting it but then manifestation is not about only visualizing um about all the happiness and success and victories and abundance manifestation is not about only visualization it is about putting in effort as well if you are sitting in your room and you are visualizing that oh um I, you know after 2 months i'm with my partner married and uh, living happily etc etc it is manifestation is not magic you have to put in some kind of effort you have to heal yourself you have to step out of your comfort zone that is when manifestation start happening manifestation is basically universe's way of telling you that oh i hear you now that you have taken the first step let me do my work okay that is how it happens seven of pentacles guys you are going to have money you are going to have each and everything i don't know what is stopping you also let me know if any one of you is um, is uh, seeing a lot of uh, you know um 77 or triple seven this angel number because there are two sevens in your uh, reading so that might be the case please take as it resonates if that's the thing let me know in the comment section so that i also get to know that you are resonating or not um but seven of pentacles tells us that you have been you have been really really patient uh, in regards to something you have been giving a lot in a particular situation maybe doing a lot of hard work or maybe um just pouring yourself out in like contributing a lot emotionally mentally physically financially uh, you have been contributing a lot in this situation or a connection and you were waiting patiently to get the returns okay and now you will be getting the returns you will be getting returns but only when you put in the hard work you put in the effort unless and until you put in the effort you contribute you will not get anything in return okay so for that first you need to start contributing let's pull out cards from the uh, tea leaf fortune deck 200 cards it gets really difficult for me to shuffle Okay. So 
Okay. Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Uh, Aquarius, I feel you are. Uh, somehow, I feel in this particular case, um, it's not just enjoying and you know having a good time with a friend. I think you are probably hooking up with a close friend, and you have been doing that quite often. Quite often, not because um, you have feelings for them or anything, but um, because you are just not ready to break your pattern. You are just not ready to let go of your past. You are not ready for this new beginning that is coming in your life. You just don't want to accept it. You want to, you want to be stuck in that in those old patterns in your comfort zone. You don't want this new person to come in your life because if you would have wanted this new person to come in your life, you would have stopped doing this. Not that uh, it's it's an ethically or morally wrong thing. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, everyone is um, you know is open to have their own choices and you know however they want to live I'm not getting uh, into the ethically and morally wrong uh, uh, thing here that discussion here but I feel you are trying to um, trying to find pleasure uh, by hooking up with this friend you're trying to um, you know, uh, this is how you will stop feeling lonely. This is your way of ignoring or avoiding your loneliness. Instead of accepting your loneliness, let that feeling flow through you so that after a while you become okay with your loneliness and then it sto stops bothering you. Instead of doing that, healing yourself, working on yourself, you just... Um, probably take a shortcut because you are not ready for the healing journey kite vacation Aquarius maybe uh, you are about to go on a vacation or um, you like in recent past you maybe went on a vacation somehow I feel in re recent past you went on a vacation okay yeah this is not future this is past you went for a vacation in the past and um, yeah nothing significant that we are getting here from this particular card skull hidden secrets can harm you if you're hiding something from yourself if you're hiding something from your family if you're hiding something from anyone who should be knowing it Believe you me, it is going to harm you sooner or later because people around you who trust you, who believe in you, who find, who, uh, who see you as a friend, okay, they would expect you to tell them things about them. Uh, so stop hiding um, secrets, okay. Stop keeping secrets from people who care about you. Stop doing that. It will eventually um, come back to you. Happiness. Aquarius, you are going. I don't know how to tell you this thing. I think I've told this thing earlier also in my previous readings. Happiness is coming your way. You are just blocking your own happiness. You are blocking your own happiness. Don't do that. Happiness is right around the corner and it is coming towards you and you are like no not right now i'm not ready for it something of that sort let me pull out one month card okay november you need to work on your root chakra you need to work on your root a couple of things that i'm getting here you need to work on your root chakra which basically tells us that you need to work on the root causes of your traumas go back to your childhood figure out what went wrong what are those things that trigger you why do they trigger you work on them first figure them out identify then accept them accept talk to yourself and accept that oh all these things do trigger me you can't live in a denial phase for your entire life aquarius that's not living that's just surviving so accept 
to your own self that okay all these things do trigger me why because of xyz insecurities yes i am insecure yes i am jealous yes i am that and this and xyz uh, also i feel a november month is going to be very significant for you if you work on yourself if you work on yourself on your root chakra then maybe some ray of hope some um, sunshine some happy thing will happen in november okay let me pull out one more card one more card which one should i pick this one okay how do i pronounce this tank card tank card hmm celebration fun enjoyment there is going to be success there is going to be victory i can see uh, you winning here i can see you telling other people that finally i have made it finally you are celebrating you are you are um, so happy that you have tears of happiness in your eyes i i can actually see that but for that if you want that to happen step out of your comfort zone just take that one little baby step towards this thing and rest the universe will take care please okay yes so um that is all uh, aquarius that i have from my end please let me know if it resonated in case it did hit the like button share my videos um comment in the comment section guys i'm open for feedback so let me know through the comments also uh, subscribe to my channel imrama tarot after you have subscribed click on the bell button and then the all notifications tab in case you want to get notified um whenever i upload any video um also guys i'm trying to build my channel here i'm trying to grow i really love what i do and um but i won't be able to do it on my own i need your support so whoever has subscribed to my channel thank you so much and those who are watching but not subscribing guys please uh, subscribe in case you like how i do my readings in case you like my work please subscribe to my channel and uh, it will really boost my confidence it will really motivate me a lot okay so um, yes uh, that's all be kind stay happy see you next time bye